Hey y'all, I have something super special and super, for me, different um, that I want to cook today, I want to make today, and I'm excited and I, I had to bring you guys along with me. So, um, I subscribed to Guidepost Magazine, we talked about that, um, and they started sending me other stuff in the mail, um, and they sent me a few recipes for free. So today we are making a Pennsylvania Dutch chicken and noodle. This is an Amish recipe, Pennsylvania Dutch chicken and noodle. On the other side is Amish potato stuffing. We're not making that. Um, and then there's also shoe fly pie, which doesn't look any good to me at all. And then Amish apple dumplings, which I will be trying those. I wanna try all of them except the shoe fly pie. But today we're going to make the P, uh, the Pennsylvania, that's what the PA stands for, Dutch chicken and noodles. So let me turn you guys around, show you what's in the ingredients. But before we do that, um, in the crock pot I have going baby back ribs, which I'm real excited about because I've never made those before either. And um, I made a... I found a recipe and I made a dry rub for them and barbecue sauce. And so I just got these going. They probably won't be ready till 8 30 or 9 o'clock tonight, but that's okay. We can pick out them tomorrow. Um, so let me turn you around and show you what's going to go in <clears throat> this Dutch chicken and noodle. And mind you, the noodles are going to be homemade. What? Let me show you what's in it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a great big pot. Okay, then you're going to need um, four or five, it said bone-in chicken breasts or thighs, but I got boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Um, you're also going to need uh, one onion chopped. You're going to need um, a teaspoon of celery seed, so I had to buy some of that. You're going to need three large potatoes right here, um, four carrots, got those right there. Um, I don't buy, I, when it comes to carrots, I don't buy the little baby carrots because I don't like those. They don't even taste like carrots. They're weird. I always buy real carrots. Um, and garlic powder right here. Got some garlic powder right there. I've got you guys at a wonky angle. How about that? Okay. Garlic powder. Um, chopped parsley. You can buy fresh or dried. It doesn't matter. You're going to need chicken bouillon cubes. You're gonna need one egg, you're gonna need flour to make your, your noodles, and then milk. So this is everything right here that you're gonna need. Oh, and you're gonna need three quarter stick of butter. And I like the real butter. Okay, so we are back. We are going to, um, I got everything chopped up. So we're gonna fill the pot with two quarts of water, which I've already done. We're going to add our onion. I'll do that in a minute. Um, we're going to add our celery seed. It called for, um, how much celery seed? One teaspoon. That looks about right to me. Put that in there. It calls for a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, but that's kind of a joke. So I went ahead with a full teaspoon ish. Um, and two tablespoons of dried parsley, or you could get fresh parsley. Put that in there. Okay, and it calls for five chicken bouillon cubes, but um, I know that per bouillon cube, it takes one cup of water, and we have more than five cups of water in here. We've got eight cups of water, so I went ahead, and I'm going with six bouillon cubes. Toss those in there. Okay, we're going to put the chicken in there. So y'all bear with me one second. One chicken breast. Two. These are pretty fat, so I'll probably just go with four chicken breasts. Three. Four. That'll be plenty. Four chicken breasts, okay. And then we're gonna put our onions in here. That is one small sweet onion. 
I found some sweet onions. They're not Vidalia, but they are a sweet onion. And I like that. I did not cry, not one little tear while I was chopping these onions. They're not as potent. They do. They even, they do kind of have like a sweet smell and they're not, let me show you what they are. Just one second. cook with onions a lot like we do like everything I ha cook has onions in it pretty much these are Mayan sweets you see that I got them at Walmart they were only a couple bucks and you get a whole bag so we're trying those okay so we are going to you guys see give this a little a little stirry here and this is gonna come to a boil all this is gonna to cook together, okay? Um, it says, onion, celery seed, garlic powder, parsley, bouillon cubes, chicken, bring to a boil, cover with lid, and turn down the simmer for an hour. So this is gonna take a while, okay? So I'm gonna bring that to a boil. I think what I'm gonna go do is fix myself a cup of coffee. It's 1.30 and I haven't had any caffeine today. Um, I just woke up and just got busy, so. We're going to bring this to a boil, um, let it simmer for an hour, um, then we're going to shred it, and then we're going to make the homemade noodles. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so I have my potatoes and carrots all chopped up. They're soaking in water so the potatoes don't turn brown. If you don't put your potatoes in water, they'll turn brown while they're waiting. Or you can peel them last minute. Um, my chicken is done, and I all four of those breasts, I um, pulled them out, shredded them. It's good. And my chicken broth is still over here in the pot, right? Okay. Now it's time to make the noodles. I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. I will... Um, put the recipe down in the um, in the down bar, you know, down in that spot. I finally got me a cup of coffee at, oh, I don't know, 2.30, my first cup of today. I usually have one or two cups in the morning and that's it all day. In the winter, I'll have one in the evening or sometimes Shane and I'll watch a movie and I'm like, mm, it's 10 o'clock at night, do you want some coffee? He's like, yeah, I'll drink some coffee with you. You just never know when coffee's going to hit you. So... I'm feeling better now that I got some of this. And I wanted to tell y'all, don't worry about my hair and how I'm not wearing any makeup. We're not worried about any of that. It is Sunday and I dress up five days a week and I just wasn't going to do it today. All right. So I'm going to point you downwards and let's try our hand at making homemade Amish noodles. I'm excited. Okay. So, <clears throat> mixing bowl, put y'all back here, mixing bowl, okay, and it says, <clears throat> pour flour into the mixing bowl, so we need how much flour? Two and a half cups of flour, okay, so there's one, I can't believe I have flour, because like, I don't bake, I don't bake, I don't make homemade noodles, none of that, okay, and then another half. About right. Okay. So there's our flour. Add butter. So we have three quarters stick of butter. And it's been sitting out, so it's soft. Okay. Mind you guys, my hands are clean. I just got done doing dishes with Dawn soap, and my hands are clean. Okay, so there's that. And it says add an egg. Okay. Um, half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. And this is weird, but a half a teaspoon of pepper. So, whatever they want, right? There we go. All right. Here's that. And then, it says mix with your hands. So, okay. Okay. 
This is out of my uh, wheelhouse right here. <laughs> this is way out of my wheelhouse. So whatever we got to do, right? At least it's not raw meat. I don't like raw meat. Okay, so I would pause you guys and bring you back, but obviously I can't touch anything right now. So you're in you're in it with me for the long haul, okay? <laughs> We're in it together. Okay, it says mix with hands and then add milk. I don't feel like we're really making a dough, though. I feel like it's just kind of still, you know, powdery. I don't understand. Is it supposed to be forming a ball? I don't know. Continuum in, okay. Add milk. Okay. Maybe this will dough it up a little bit. I don't know. Okay. Is this how you make dough? I don't know. Feeling like we might need a little more milk. No, here we go. I know these Amish women, they're in their kitchen and they're pros. They don't need measuring cups and any of that. They just... They just know, you know? Okay, so we're getting a, we're forming a ball here. I feel like we might need a little more milk. So, this Tulsa girl's gonna put some more milk in it. Just a spit. My hands are doughy. Literally just a spit. Like that. See if that helps. Yes, I like that better. It just needed, and in the recipe it says approximately a third cup of milk. So I think it's okay that I added another spit in there. Okay. Yeah. This feels right to me. Okay. Continue touching until, or continue mixing by hand until dough is no longer sticky to the touch. Roll out dough on floured surface to a quarter inch thick. Okay, now we need a little bit more flour because, I mean, is, is it not completely clear that I have no idea what I'm doing? I mean, I don't think I know what I'm doing, but I, I made dough. I mean, I guess I, I guess I'm doing it right. Okay, it's not too sticky. Now we have a ball of dough, right? So I did it right. Let me put the milk up. I don't want it to get hot. Okay, get this out of our way. I have to have a clean area. I can't work. If I don't have a clean space. So, roll out dough on floured surface. Okay. Probably too much flour, but whatever. Believe it or not, I have a rolling pin. <laughs> Who knew? That is a lot of flour. Let me get rid of some of that. I don't need all that. It's a bit much. Now, I have done this with Bisquick and made biscuits before. But I don't think I've ever made my own homemade dough. You can see the pepper in it. And I'm going to cut these noodles. Um, 
with a pizza roller. That's what I'm going to do. Because that just seems easier to me. Makes sense, right? Now, you guys who bake and make noodles and bread and homemade biscuits and all that, if you got any tips for me, leave them below. Please don't, please don't criticize because I admit it, I don't know what I'm doing. Is that about a quarter of an inch? How's that? I think that's enough, don't you? I don't know, let's go out a little bit more. See it spreading, getting bigger? This is a workout, my shoulders hurt already. How's that? Is that too thick? It seems so thick to me. How's that? All right, now what? Okay, we gotta get our stock going to boil. So I'm gonna turn this back on, y'all. We're gonna get that boiling. Let me wash my hands. Okay. Hold on a minute. So I got the stock going, right? Gross. It's all up in my nails and whatnot. And we're gonna cut these noodles. Okay, with a handy dandy pizza cutter. So it says, cut slices into one and a half inch square. I mean, I guess. So first of all, let's make it pretty. Use that. Cut off these rough edges. Okay. I guess I'm just making squares. Not real sure. Okay. about right to me and they don't have to be perfect you know they're gonna boil and cook this is fun and different y'all all right there we go there's our noodles right okay now what um bring stock to boil add potatoes and carrots okay let's come on over here I gotta bring y'all down now, this guy. This is not gonna work. Okay, our stock is boiling. Just hang with me. I'll make y'all dizzy for a minute. Okay. It says to bring our stock to a boil, so we did. We got it going again. It says, um, add potatoes and carrots. Okay, I gotta strain them. I had to strain all that water out of them. I don't know why potatoes go in chicken noodles, but whatever. 
I love veggies, so it doesn't matter to me. Okay. Okay, so we're going to let that cook and boil, right? Okay, now what? Um, and a handful of noodles at a time. Stir soup after each additional addition of noodles to help keep them from sticking. Cover and let cook half hour to 45 minutes until noodles are cooked through and vegetables are done. When finished, add chicken, heat thorough, and serve. Broth thickens as you add noodles. Okay. Okay, so let me get some noodles. We're going to do it like this. I'm going to go get some noodles. On my, on my spatula here. Drop those in there. Shane? He's not down here. He's upstairs. And then it says to stir. After each, so they don't stick. Stir that up, you guys. This is gonna be good. Okay, go get some more. I think I did pretty good on the noodles, y'all. I feel like. Okay. And that was plenty, 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 plenty of noodles. And see, I just cut them into little squares. Okay. All right, I'm just going to keep doing this, you guys, and I will come back to you um, after, what it say, 30, 45 minutes, and we'll see where we're at. Check this out, y'all. Yum. Yum. Okay, guys, here is the finished product. Looky there. It is thick and creamy. I got my little bowl here. So I'm going to put you on the tripod up here so we can uh, scoop it up. Okay. We're gonna give this a shot. Let's see how it tastes. Some chicken in there. It is super creamy. Some of those noodles. Some of them noodles I made. Okay, so that's what it looks like. A big bite. Oh, here comes Shane. I got a noodle and some chicken and a carrot in there. This is going to be filling. Super duper filling. Good. Those dumplings? They're kind of like a dumpling. They're homemade noodles. It looks more like a dumpling, doesn't it? It needs salt. Salt and pepper. It tastes like a thick, creamy chicken noodle. Dumpling noodle soup. Yeah. Okay. It needs salt and pepper. I think it needs a little more flavor when cooking next time. What'd you do? What? Potatoes in there? Yep. It's good. It's the bad angle. Did you put crackers in there? No, but you could. And it'll feed a herd. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's comfort food right there. Yeah.
needs a little salt. I can't wait to see what he thinks. Crackers. You can taste it before you go put the crackers in it. Do you want me to taste it before I go put the crackers in it? Uh-huh. Are you? It's probably hot. Yeah, you got blue on it. Plus the cracker cool off. That's good. It just needs salt. This salt doesn't come out very good. I know. It's weird. What a pain. Did you add salt? It's good. It's very down home tasting. It's very. It's good. It's very comfort food. I put too much salt in mine. Did you? Yeah. It's good though. You like it? You gonna taste mine? I don't have as much salt. Good. Just a bite of chicken. Yeah, you could even add peas in there if you wanted. Here you go. salty too. <laughs> Maybe I put too much salt. Oh, that's pepper. Yeah. That's not the salt bowl. It's good. I think it's a win. It tastes like pot pie. It's mm. got a pot pie flavor. You know what I mean? The more I eat, the more I like it. Yeah. Yeah, and you can put crackers in it to add a little crunch. It's like pot pie. It is. It's like pot pie. Except, except this is with the, you've got the, uh, the dumplings in there. Yeah, it's more of like a dumpling. So you like, see, this is a, this is chicken and noodle, but after you cut it up in a one inch square, it's more of a dumpling. Sure is. And you could even, I wanted to make it as authentic to the recipe as I could. You know me, I usually go get a um, rotisserie chicken, but this was um, a Pennsylvania Dutch recipe, so I thought I better do it from scratch, which is why I, I boiled the chicken. You put that in a crust? Mm-hmm. That'd be good. It tastes like chicken pot pie. Okay. Love y'all. Lord loves it. you more. You gonna go eat it? Make you some.